So I'm with Kurt Nelson right now with the Tulalip Tribes on the Snohomish Estuary. What was the problem out here that you all were setting out to fix? We were trying to create more salmon habitat and uh, the best place to do this is in the estuary. This particular area was uh, previously farmland that could no longer be farmed because of the development that was going on around it. So uh, we proceeded to uh, purchase about 400 acres, which we converted into 354 acres of estuary wetland. We had to lower a levee, about 1,500 feet of levee. We had to build a, almost a mile of levee and we had to uh, dig about uh, two miles of channel f f so the salmon could have better access into Allen Creek and Jones Creek. Previously, it was blocked by culverts. Here in this area, we've seen incredible increase in the number of people coming into our region. And with that comes the pressure to build more homes and develop these uh, areas that were once pretty pristine. And so part of our challenge in looking at recovering uh, salmon here in the Snohomish River Basin as well as the rest of Puget Sound is coming up with ways that we can accommodate all these influx of people coming in while also maintaining and protecting this critical habitat for the fish. We have these these types of estuaries uh, all in these these areas all up and down Puget Sound. We have larger estuaries and smaller estuaries and these areas are critically important for juvenile salmon as they're making their way from the rivers out to the ocean. And if we have a functioning estuary, we can add 30% to the returning fish. And, they, and when we open these estuaries up, they're used right away. Plants start to come in, fish start to come in, they use them right away. The challenge is that this project that we're looking at took oh, 20 years, it's $20 million, and it had 20 different partners. That takes uh, an incredible amount of resources, and we just don't have the time to put these projects on the ground at that pace. So have you seen more salmon come back to use the site compared to what it was like before? Prior to 2015, salmon did not use this site. Uh, since 2015, the numbers of salmon we've been seeing uh, have been growing. Uh, in 2017, we saw a, a variation in, in use from about 10,000 fish to possibly 100,000 fish utilizing this 354 acres. Allison Morrow, King 5 News.